Hello everyone and welcome to another royal reading. It is a wild and windy day, very cold and uh, it's a bit of a wild and windy tarot reading. Well, it's a couple of tarot readings I'm doing today. I've been thinking really hard today about the right topic to read on. It usually comes quite easily to me. Today I had to think about it uh, long and hard and the topic that's come up is a two-pronged two uh, reading really. I'm going to do two readings on a similar topic. Really the relationship between the Harkles and Her Majesty the Queen. Very directly looking at that relationship. Quite a dark reading. Both of them are quite dark readings. So I am using the Tarot of the Abyss. You can see it on the tarot table. There it is. Tarot of the Abyss. I'll use it for both readings today. It is Friday afternoon for those of you who are interested. And um, the first reading that I'm going to do is about this notion that the Harkles are actually trying to destroy the British monarchy. And really, very directly, the Queen herself. Um, uh, they always creep around and say, oh, you know, she's lovely and we don't, we're not directly attacking her. But really they are. When you read things like Trevor Colt saying his sources are telling him that Harry wants his book to explode the monarchy. Sorry about the loud shuffling. These are very loud cards to shuffle. Uh, then you get the notion that really the target is the Queen, no one else. It's not aimed at Prince Charles, really. It's not aimed at Prince William, even though they are uh, in there as well, in Harry's sights as well, clearly in his book. Otherwise, he would have happily given them copies to read. Uh, but really, the target, in my opinion, is the Queen. And let's remind you right now at the outset of this reading, this is a tarot reading for entertainment purposes. It is all my opinion or speculation. Please do your own research. Please form your own opinions and conclusions. And there is a disclaimer in the box below. Uh, so that's Trevor Court saying Harry wants his book to explode the monarchy. Then Angela Levin came out in an interview and said, Harry and Meghan are trying to create, she's a royal biographer for those who don't know, uh, Harry and Meghan are trying to create a woke royal family, an alternative to the royal family. After the Duchess feels enormous bitterness that she was not able to modernise the firm. Uh, no one asked her to modernise the monarchy. Everybody likes the tradition and the pomp and circumstance and the stability. Uh, Britain, Capricorn country, likes its traditions and its... Um, it's old-fashionedness in a certain sense. Um, so, a mistake to think that she could sweep in and modernise the firm. I don't know, I've never figured out what modernise the firm means. Have no idea. Merch uh, is all that I can ever um, think it means. Merch and uh, really uh, vulgarise it. Um, if there's such a word. Uh, Angela Levin went on to say, Meghan does not like it to lose. Hanging on to her Duchess title for all she's worth, but trying to create, they are both trying to create their own woke version of the royal family over in the US. Uh, and she continues, so that's why I think there's a big plot and a plan to show how awful the royal family are. And I think Prince Harry's book, and I'm, I'm, um, I'm, I'm not quoting directly, Prince Harry's book and that terrible Oprah interview were them trying to smash the monarchy down. They are trying, according to Angela Levin, to smash the monarchy down. So, Terror of the Abyss on the table today. We're going to look at this five card reading, just a short reading. We're going to see how Harry feels about the monarchy. And when I say the monarchy, I mean the queen in this reading. How Meghan feels. Are they really hidden energy of this reading? This five card reading. Are they really out to destroy the monarchy, the queen's legacy? In other words, and final question of this five card reading. Will they succeed? Uh, it feels like it should be a day-long reading on such a topic. You know, it should be a 4,000 card reading. But uh, let's just do five <laughs> and see where we are with the energy and what the Terror of the Abyss wants to tell us, what the universe wants to tell us about this very difficult and very dark topic for a wild and windy Friday afternoon. And uh, I've got Fluffy sleeping quietly here in the room with me where I'm doing the reading. And uh, let's hope it stays that way. Quiet. Um, underlying energy. We get the four of wands in reverse. 
that's uh, that's pretty much an indication of somebody wanting to smash the monarchy down because when the card is in the upright, the Four of Wands is one of the great signifiers for the royal family, for the firm. It's fours, stability, um, institutions, things that are stable and enduring. And the Four of Wands is about family, is about home. And of course, the royal family is a family above all else. It is the family that represents the um, citizens of the United Kingdom. Um, the over, there's a word for it. Um, I can't think of it, but it's like the meta family over something word. Somebody uh, will rem remember and write it in the comments. And thank you for doing that <laughs> in a a ahead of time. But four of wands is the royal family, is the happy family, is the stability and security. It's in the reverse in this reading as the underlying energy of this reading. Unha wanting to break this family. So yeah, there's your answer. I could say a one card reading, it's good enough. Underlying energy, yes, they do. Uh, they absolutely do. But let's look at the heart of this matter and we get the nine of pentacles. Um, it's about money. It's about money. It's about wanting to be independent, wanting to be free, wanting to merge. I said merge in my little preamble or my quite long preamble. Uh, it is about uh, being able to be financially independent, uh, feathered your nest, very comfortable, uh, got all your designer clothes. Harry doesn't get the designer clothes. He gets that grubby old uh, grey polo shirt that he was in Mozambique in. Oh my word, if I could get my hands on that, it would be in my rag bag so fast. Um, but there it is. Somebody wants all the good things in life. It's her. It's Megan, my opinion. Uh, it's she's the driving energy of this wanting she came into the royal family wanting money she uh, can't, couldn't believe how hard she would have to work for no money uh, allegedly according to Tom Bauer and that uh, chat she had with Princess Anne Princess Anne told her she would have to wake up at the crack of dawn and go and shake hands uh, in old people you know old age homes and stuff like that for no money and I uh, couldn't believe it that's not what she's about. That's not what she wants. We know that she's all about the money. She will basically, in my opinion, do anything for money, for bling, for shiny things. Classy, with a K, with a K as uh, Lady C would describe her. So let's see. Individually, how do they feel right now? Harry allegedly wants to explode the monarchy with his book. How does he feel towards the monarchy, the Queen? The Queen of Cups, it's all about mummy. There she is, Princess Diana. It's all about uh, the royal family, ruined mummy's life, drove her crazy, broke her heart, it was so horrible to her. He's going to avenge, uh, avenge his mother's death and his treatment at the hands of the cruel and nasty queen. And never mind that mummy was not exactly a saint. Prince William allegedly did the rounds, went and talked to people, heard the truth about his mother. The hard truth, the difficult truth, that it was a very brave thing to do, a very mature thing to do. Uh, Prince Harry refused to go along with William, didn't want to hear the things that people had to say about mummy. Has got his own version, his idealised version of mummy. There she is, Queen of Cups, all about mummy. You killed mummy. We're going to read that in the book. Or oh, he wants to write it in the book. And I am, of course, speculating, and I'm not saying for one second that the royal family killed Princess Diana. Uh, so there it is. That's what it's all about for Prince Harry. What's it all about for Meghan Markle? The Four of Swords. They defeated her. The royal family defeated her. It's the card of defeat, the Four of Swords. I want to have a good snigger when I see that card, actually. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, it's the card of defeat. It's the card of having to retreat. Uh, lick your wounds, go off and skulk away and hide in Montecito in your, uh, in your hideous mansion and um, lurk there and fester and, and uh, um, think of how you have been wronged because it follows the Three of Swords which is the betrayal and the wounded heart, the broken heart. Uh, she can't believe how nasty they were to her, how they didn't give her the tiara, they didn't give her Windsor Castle, they didn't um, buy her her very own private jet and say, there you go, off you go, you can have the Commonwealth, you can reign supreme over uh, all these realms. 
um, they said, go off to visit old retired actors in their home. You know, honestly, I can't think of, of a more fun way to spend an afternoon uh, than going to a place like that and having a jolly time with people whose God-given gift is to entertain and have must, must have, can't even speak, I'm so upset, must have the most amazing tales to tell, play the piano, sing, dance, uh, tell you jolly tales, and she couldn't wait to get out of there in that hideous dress that she was wearing, completely inappropriate, with the square bump, the one, the bump that managed to fold. Um, she's, she went off to lick her wound. She's defeated, and she's festering over it. Um, the four of swords. This is not a happy pair. Um, we don't, uh, as I often say, we don't need tarot cards to tell us that. We can just look at them and know how miserable they are, how bitter they are, bitter is the word that Angela Levin used to describe Meghan Markle. Four of Swords is a bitter energy. Um, so, hidden energy of this reading. Are they really out to destroy the monarchy? And by the monarchy, I mean the Queen's legacy. Three of Pentacles in reverse. Yes, they are. It's not the Tower. It's not the Death card. It's not one of those huge and devastating cards. But the Three of Pentacles is your work. Is collaboration, is teamwork, is effort, is all that effort you've put in uh, pulling together on that rope or whatever it is uh, to accomplish something and they want to undo it. Uh, they want to um, to force that team apart. We've seen it with the four of wands in reverse that's uh, undoing that happy foundation, the firm. It's minor energy, they're not going to succeed. Well, I'm, I'm preempting the final card, shock horror, perhaps they will. Um, but it's 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 little little jabs at the things that mean something to the queen that the legacy that she has set up the work that she has done with people and because it's just as the three of pentacles it is the women's institutes of this world the um the 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 lifesavers you know the boats that go out in terrible storms to rescue people it's those kinds of people it's people who rescue dogs and cats and ponies and donkeys and people who do good in a small way because they have good hearts and i'm feeling very upset i'm feeling extremely emotional as i'm saying this and they want to undo that they want to mock it they want to untie the knot that binds people together in this small way and this small island uh, it is a small island that has had a tremendous impact on the world uh, and people can rant about colonialism and whatever but it's also exported certain values and stands for certain things um, and I'm not a British person. Um, I'm looking at it from a distance, uh, from a country that had, has had its own uh, fairly hard times uh, under British rule in certain ways. Um, but uh, values and, and good deeds and good works, and they want to mock that and undermine it and diminish it. They want to diminish the legacy of the Queen. Will they succeed? Will they succeed? And we get the Seven of Pentacles. Uh, Seven of Pentacles is your legacy, is your, not, not completely your legacy, but your um, taking stock and what you have accomplished. And it's very interesting, it's a seven and it's, it's upright. I'm very reassured by this card and you know where I'm heading. We have just had the 70th anniversary of the Queen's reign, literally. Uh, a couple of months ago. Seven of Pentacles upright card. There she is. Very earth sign. She is a Taurus. She has worked very hard for an earth sign country and her legacy is going to stand and it is going to be secure. Uh, she's, she has she has worked very hard. This woman here is working and she has produced uh, useful things in this card. Things that are of value to other people. Pentacles are about value. And um, it's a very humble card, this. Um, the Seven of Pentacles is somebody who's harvesting um, after a long, hard um, summer or, or, or growing season. They have worked. They've worked very hard and now they are harvesting. They are, they are reaping the rewards of what they have done. And Her Majesty the Queen is going to be reaping the rewards of what she has done. She has already, obviously, um, uh, been acknowledged um, very much 
uh, for what she has done. But her um, her legacy will st will withstand the the pettiness of these two ugly people, ugly souls. Harry, Mummy, Megan, you defeated me, and I had to skulk away and slink away and and lick my wounds and fester and be full of resentment and bitterness and long to bring down the royal family. They're not going to succeed in tarnishing the queen's reputation or for that matter, the standing of the monarchy uh, in future. So I'm very relieved to see that. And uh, I will uh, go and shake this energy off me before I get to the second part of this reading to do with the Harkles and the Queen. <laughs> 